Hello and welcome back again. Welcome to the second segment in your free 12 part course. So I hope you enjoyed the first lesson and I hope you've had a chance to practice that little exercise that I showed you. And in this video today I'm going to teach you how to read tab. Now tab is short for tablature and in case you don't already know well, what that is is a way of writing down and reading guitar music from paper. And what that means is that you'll be able to open a music book and read a song just by looking at the numbers. Or some people go on the internet and you'll find tab for any song you want to learn there and you can download it and print it out and you'll find it easy to read the notes and be able to play the song quickly. So that's what it is and also as well as that it's a way of writing down a song. So for example if you were writing your own music it would be a way of keeping track of what you've been playing you know so you don't forget it. So it really is useful and I promise you it's really simple. It'll only take me five minutes to explain it to you and you'll get it straight away. So if you look at the bottom of the screen you'll see six lines. Now each one of those lines represents each string on the guitar. The bottom line is actually the sixth string and the top line is the first string. Now a lot of my students get confused by that because they say, you know, why is it back to front? On a real guitar the sixth string is at the top and the first string is at the bottom so why did they do it the other way around? And my answer is I don't know, I didn't design the system but what I will say is don't worry about it because you'll quickly get used to it and after a while you won't even think about it, you'll just be able to read the notes you know, <laughs> totally effortlessly. Now what happens is we put a number on the line and the number represents the fret we're playing. So for example if we were to play the sixth string at fret one um, what you would see is this, the number one on the bottom line, of course that represents fret one on the sixth string. And if we were to play fret two on the sixth string, you'd see a number two and fret three and fret four. So it really is that straightforward. And just to give you another example, um, the second string at fret three, you'd see a number three on the second line. Um, the fifth string at fret two, you'd see a number two on the fifth line. Okay, so that is it, it's straightforward. Congratulations, you can read tab now. So what I wanna show you in this lesson is a little song, just a short little riff, um, and it goes like this. Now you probably recognize that that's a sort of rock and roll style um, progression. Um, so I want to show you that now for two reasons. One, because I want to give you, you know, a, a bit of music to start practicing and playing. And for the second reason, that we can learn to read the tab whilst we're doing it. Okay, so the first note I'm going to ask you to play now is the sixth string open. And of course, you can see the zero has appeared on the sixth line. And now what I want you to play now is the sixth string at fret four. And you can see the number four there. And now the fifth string at fret two, and then go to the fifth string at fret four, and then the fourth string at fret two. Good. Okay, so you can see all those numbers at the bottom of the screen. I'll demonstrate that again now, just to make it crystal clear. Now what I will say is don't worry about what fingers to use on, on your left hand. At this stage it's not really that important. What's more important is that we're learning to read the tab, okay? So just use any finger that's comfortable for the minute. Um, so once you've finished on the fourth string at fret two, what I want you to do is go back to the fifth string at fret four. And then go off to the fifth string at fret two. And finish up on the sixth string at fret four. Okay, good. Let me join all that together for you now. Okay, good. Now remember, there's no rush to play this fast. Um, what's important at this stage is that you're learning to read the notes and play these notes. But as you practice it, you can increase the speed bit by bit. play it over and over again until you really can play it fast. OK, 
Okay, now that was part of a longer piece that I just demonstrated to you then. Now, unfortunately, there's not time for me to show you that whole thing in this mini video guitar lesson. But if you go onto the website and have a look at the archive, you'll find the full length video guitar lesson where I teach you that whole rock and roll piece. Um, and it's actually called Rock and Roll, so go and check it out. But in the meantime, just practice this first riff. <laughs> that over and over again and build the speed and that's all I want you to do at this stage for the minute and in the meantime if you want to go on the internet and look for other tab and you can have a go at learning any songs that you can find on the internet then by all means go and do that I want you to progress as quickly as possible or you know if you want to look at our website and find other songs that you want to learn on on vguitarlessons.com then that would be a brilliant thing to do also so Congratulations for getting to the second part of this course. Go and practice what I've showed you. I'll see you in a few days for the next segment of this e-course. Until then, keep practicing, have fun. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.